Hello and welcome back to another NHL video where this time I'm discussing my uh, personal top 10 favorite uh, teams to win Stanley Cup in 2023. Uh, here are uh, the numbers, 10 being the lowest uh, that I think uh, will win the Stanley Cup. And uh, first, obviously, who do I think will win the Stanley Cup? I will do a more specific video when playoff pairs and uh, who will face each other about in a month. Uh, when the regular season has ended, uh, then I will do uh, probably another video who do I think will win the Stanley Cup uh, when we know more. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, uh, these are my personal uh, opinions. So I would love to hear your uh, opinions about uh, who will win the Stanley Cup this season in the comments. Uh, and my opinions might be a bit controversial to you. But yeah, uh, so first number 10. Uh, I've got here Dallas Stars uh, and yeah uh, Dallas uh, last year they uh, didn't go past first round or they didn't get past first round uh, Jay Gottinger though uh, last year and this year he has been uh, very good in net for Dallas and yeah uh, I just think uh, Stars might have a real chance uh, well uh, obviously I've got nine teams ahead of them in the standings but uh, I think they do have a good chance and, uh, chance and they have got uh, Robe Hintz and uh, Joe Pavelski and uh, Jason Robertson as a line so uh, that's quite good uh, and has been uh, last year and this year and yeah Ben Sagan uh, both of those veterans uh, they have played quite well this season so um, yeah, I do think because of the goaltending and their defense has been good as well. Uh, I do think Dallas has a chance at winning uh, the playoffs, uh, definitely. Uh, well, or winning the cup. Uh, then number nine that I've got here uh, is uh, New Jersey Devils. Uh, this year uh, they started uh, hot and they won uh, quite many games there. Uh, but uh, I'm just not sure their team is young. Hughes, uh, quite young player still his year, uh, relatively young as well. I'm not sure they're ready to win the Stanley Cup yet, uh, but they might get uh, the second round, I don't know. Uh, but with how stacked they is, this uh, Houston Conference, is uh, there are many good teams. I can't see how New Jersey would get uh, through there, but yeah, as I said, maybe we when we know who will play against each other, uh, maybe my opinion has change then but uh, at this point uh, I'm just not sure uh, Vanacek and Blackwood and yeah uh, that goaltending situation some days it can be very good and other days not so much and uh, yeah their attacking has been quite good and uh, their uh, forward uh, lines but uh, I'm still not convinced that they're uh, ready to win the Stanley Cup yet this year at least at this point, even though their regular season has been quite convincing. Uh, then number eight, uh, I think this will cause some controversy. Uh, but yeah, I've got Seattle Kraken here. Uh, I don't know, some may argue that uh, they should be even higher. Uh, but uh, Dave Haxtell this season has got the best out of the, his team, definitely. And uh, yeah, I just think Seattle... Uh, they are right now probably, uh, they have a chance at uh, winning the Stanley Cup and because uh, they don't have uh, one specific good player. Of course, there be there's Ben Ears and Everly and uh, Dan has been good for them. But uh, yeah, and their goaltending numbers are that great, uh, which is interesting because they are quite high up in the standings, at least in the playoff spot uh, right now, quite comfortably. Uh, well, comfortably and comfortably, but still. Uh, but uh, I would say Seattle, uh, they could win the Stanley Cup. They got a very good four lines, uh, good defense as well. Uh, not one major player that stands out, uh, but uh, yeah, their team is hardworking and uh, these teams can be good in the playoffs, definitely. And uh, yeah, I really have nothing else to say about Seattle. I think they're a hard-working team and uh, they could uh, be successful in the playoffs. Uh, and uh, first year wasn't that great, maybe second year could prove to be great for them. Then number seven, uh, I've got 
Edmonton Oilers, so a uh, first Canadian team in this board. Uh, I just think that uh, Edmonton, even though their goaltending situation, Campbell with big contract, uh, Jack Campbell and uh, Stuart Skinner, he has been the uh, number one goaltender this year. Uh, but Skinner has been good and Campbell could be good in the playoffs. And, uh, well, above all, they've got uh, Connor McDavid, uh, who this year has been just lights out and uh, scored um, more goals than before. And, uh, yeah, I just think with McDavid, Dreisaitl and uh, maybe Ekholm will help them in the playoffs, uh, that acquisition could be key for them uh, if they want to win Stanley Cup. Um, I just think uh, Edmonton, they have a solid squad and obviously McDavid. And that's why they are 7th in my board. Uh, then number 6. Uh, maybe some would argue that uh, this team should be higher. Uh, but I've got here uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, maybe a bit controversial pick at number 6. Maybe they should be higher. Uh, they've got Vasilevsky who is <coughs> well probably the best goal uh, tender in the NHL. Uh, well uh, at least that's what I think uh, probably. Uh, but yeah, uh, they have struggled recently and maybe that's affecting uh, somewhat uh, about my decisions. But uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. Uh, their team is aging. Uh, obviously, uh, Hedman got injured. I don't know. Apparently, it's not anything serious. But uh, yeah, they have struggled at points at this season. And they have three, uh, three straight uh, Stanley Cup runs, uh, two of them uh, wins, ended up win uh, Stanley Cup wins, but I think uh, that's a lot of hockey in uh, quite a short time, so yeah, I'm just not sure, they are probably a bit tired and uh, won't win the Stanley Cup, but yeah, maybe they could surprise me uh, yeah, uh, maybe they could beat uh, the dynasty and win three cups in four years I don't know, uh, let's see if they could do that so uh, number five, uh, again, probably a bit uh, odd choice, but yeah, I've got here uh, Boston Bruins, uh, number fifth. Uh, they have been uh, so great this season. Ulmark and Swayman have been, uh, especially Ulmark uh, has been so good and scored a goalie goal as well not that long ago and probably wins the Vesina trophy. Uh, but yeah, I just think uh, even though they might win the Stanley Cup, I just think that there may be an upset in first or second round uh, because there are teams like Toronto and Tampa Bay and others. Uh, I'm just not sure if uh, Boston will uh, do that well in the playoffs because even though they have been great at uh, well at this regular season, I'm just not sure uh, that they will uh, go far in the playoffs, maybe first or second round, but I'm not sure about uh, Stanley Cup. Uh, they're just many good teams, and maybe they've overachieved a bit in this regular season. At least that's what I think. But yeah, uh, they still have a chance if they play as good as uh, they have showed in the regular season. Uh, they probably would be the Stanley Cup favorites, but I just think playoffs. Uh, they are a different beast and. Yeah, it's going to be interesting if Boston could uh, go on a run in the playoffs as well and uh, be just the dominant team in the league uh, in regular season, uh, but also in playoffs as well. Uh, number four, just ahead of them, I've got uh, Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, yeah, uh, it's interesting, their goaltending uh, situation, uh, Frederick Andersen, Antti Ranta, uh, Pietro Kocetkov. Um, it's interesting uh, also that uh, they acquired uh, Jesse Puljujärvi from Edmonton Oilers. Will that help them? I don't know. Uh, if he uh, will find chemistry with other Finnish players like Aho, who he has played with before. Uh, and yeah, uh, Carolina, they've got solid team, uh, four solid lines as well as Seattle. Uh, but yeah, I just think uh, Carolina under Rob Brindamore, uh, I think they can be the team to go on a run this year. Uh, but there are many teams that could go around, uh, on a run definitely. But uh, yeah, I just think Carolina is 
uh, well, in my opinion, they're the fourth, uh, well, uh, fourth in these rankings of uh, winning the Stanley Cup, uh, which brings me to number third, uh, which is uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, <laughs> Toronto fans can let me know if they think uh, they are too high or too low in my board. Uh, but yeah, I just think that um, maybe Toronto... Uh, it's hard to predict. Uh, Samsonov and Murray, they could be absolutely great in the playoffs or, uh, well, not so great. Uh, but I think Murray definitely has that potential because he hasn't played in the playoffs in a while. So, uh, yeah, he could be a surprise... Uh, uh, or a wild card there uh, for Toronto and uh, surprise some teams uh, because yeah he has Stanley Cups so uh, but yeah Toronto they have got Matthews who has maybe underachieved a bit this year so I would expect him to be better in the playoffs and uh, O'Reilly he got injured apparently but uh, yeah if he's back for the playoffs uh, they've got Tavares, O'Reilly and Matthews who can all play at center. So, yeah, I just think uh, Toronto, they are a solid team. And uh, Kyle Dubas definitely has done uh, everything he could so that Toronto would, uh, Maple Leafs would win the Stanley Cup this year. And, yeah, I just think this could be the year very well when they could beat uh, every team in the league. Uh, well, at least who they face in the playoffs. Even though Leafs fans, uh, and uh, yeah, they have uh, been uh, mocked and everything that uh, Leafs won't go past the first round. But I think this season could be when they uh, would go past the first round. Uh, then number two, they acquired Patrick Kane and Vladimir Tarasenko and others. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, Mikola could be good for them defensively. Uh, I just think uh, Shesterkin last season he was so great and in the playoffs as well. This season he hasn't been, uh, well, hasn't been that great. He has been solid but not last year's levels. But I think Shesterkin uh, could be very good in the playoffs and uh, yeah, stop uh, just about every team. It was a narrow uh, way that uh, Tampa Bay got past Rangers last year so... Uh, yeah, I would expect Rangers to go to finals and maybe fin win Stanley Cup. Uh, but yeah, it, it probably depends on Sesterkin. But they've got solid lines, uh, four lines. Uh, and yeah, defense, uh, even though there are some question marks, uh, Fox, Lindgren, uh, Keandra Miller and True, but they are a solid top four defense group. So yeah, I just think uh, Rangers... Uh, under Gerard Gallant, they could go on a run uh, and win the Stanley Cup in 2023. And the first team that I've got here is, uh, I'm not sure if you're surprised, uh, but uh, Colorado Avalanche. Uh, last year they won. I just think uh, they will win this year. Uh, maybe uh, I did some point do a video uh, that uh, would they miss playoffs. Uh, as I said in that video that they probably won't at least uh, that's what I remember about that video uh, but yeah I just think Colorado uh, they have uh, maybe had a, a cup hangover a bit and uh, that's the reason why their uh, regular season hasn't been uh, as great as last season but I do think they are very dangerous in players uh, Georgiev is uh, um, he could be a potential uh, well, uh, he's probably playing a big role if they're going to win a Stanley Cup or not. Uh, he has not had, uh, uh, he has not been a first uh, goaltender for any team really up to this season. So, yeah, uh, he will play a large role if Colorado were to win the Stanley Cup this year. Uh, but, yeah, so far this season he has been great for them. And, uh, yeah, McKinnon, Rantanen... Uh, Landers Cook, um, who I think will be back in the playoffs, uh, well, if not sooner. Um, yeah, I just think Colorado probably win, win, will win the Stanley Cup yet again. But uh, let me know your thoughts about this. Uh, my rankings are uh, quite controversial, probably. Uh, who do you think uh, will win the Stanley Cup? And 
are the teams too high or too low in this board? Like, is Tampa Bay too low? Is Seattle too high? Colorado too high? Toronto too high or low? And uh, Boston too low, uh, for example. And uh, hit the like and subscribe for more NHL and hockey videos. And have a nice day.